Hey guys, welcome back to Clarity Chart Analysis. And in this video, I will be using the market structure to tell us our current position of the IV on the price market chart, and also use the market structure to predict the next possible move of IV on the price market chart. But first, guys, if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both direction of the market, you want to know our current position on the price market chart. This channel is for you. Please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video so guys on our rv daily time frame which is our major structure the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside and guys after every break of structure what should we expect we should expect a pullback right so guys are we on a pullback phase sure we're on a pullback phase because it was actually the swing that gave us this lower low we've seen price traded above it so guys currently now price is trading between this upper swing and this lower swing so guys let's go back to a four hour time frame let's go see if we can search for more information about market structure so guys let's we'll be doing this together let's see what we have so from this point okay okay now from this point after we broke structure to the downside we saw a pullback we saw a pullback which broke structure to the upside that shows we are now on a impossible we are now on a pullback phase because remember the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside so currently now we are still pulling back what's wrong with this two currently we are still pulling back we broke more structure to the upside and from there we'll pull back broke structure to the upside so now we've changed direction at this point because this was the swing that gave us this i and we've seen price go below it from there we'll pull back we we'll broke more structure to the downside we'll pull back again and from this point we'll broke more structure hope all this wall broke more structure to the downside we'll pull back Hope all is well with these two broke more structure to the downside and we'll broke change this direction. Initially, we are on a lower low, and remember that it means that we are now back to the impulsive phase because our major structure was breaking structure to the downside. And before knowing it, price went back up, took this liquidity, and broke more structure now down to the downside. And from there, now we've been breaking series of structures to the downside. So guys, currently now, we've seen another break of structure again to the upside, meaning we are not yet on a pullback phase. Trying to get this, okay. From this point again, we'll pull back. We'll pull back to this point, broke more structure to the upside, and from here, we'll broke structure again to the downside. And let's see what we have here. And now, currently, now we're on the pullback phase. So, guys, on our far time frame now, the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside. And, guys, we're on the pullback phase. Sure, price is already pulling back. So, our far time frame now is trading between this swing and this lower swing. So, guys, what is the implication of price taking out this lower swing? If price is taking out this implication, if price is taking out this lower swing, that shows we have resumed back our bearish trend and price will continue giving us more lower low on our daily time frame. Because remember that the most recent break of structure we saw on our lower time frame was actually a break of structure to the downside. And on our major structure, if price is taking out this upper swing, that shows we are still on a pullback phase. And Hopefully, if you should see price take out this upper swing, that shows we've changed from a bearish trend now back to the bullish trend. So, guys, let's go back to a one hour time frame. Let's go see if we can just get a summary of what price did on our one hour time frame. So, guys, on our one hour time frame, remember that on our four hour time frame, the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside. So, from this point, what do we notice? This swing was what actually gave us this lower low. So, we've seen price traded above it and from there price pull back press pull back break more structure to the upside pull back so now on our one other time frame we're actually on the 
pretty bullish trend before we saw change of character and price continue breaking more structure to the downside so guys we've seen like about two lower low this was the first lower low and this was the second lower low so now guys currently now we are now on a very strength on our four hour time frame a very strength on our one hour time frame and a very strength on our daily time frame that shows the rv is still on a very strength so guys let's look for a nice entry points let's short the market because based on our three time frames we are on a very strength so guys trade carefully and let's not lose our money back to the market and guys i wish you all the best thank you for watching this video and for you not to miss out on my daily update on market structure please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video thank you guys for watching